Now, a Singapore court has sentenced former transport minister Subramaniam Iswaran to 12 months in prison for corrupting and obstructing justice. Iswaran pleaded guilty to all five charges. He was accused of improperly receiving gifts to the tune of $300,000. This is the first jailing of an ex-cabinet member over corruption in the city-state known for its clean governance. The court has allowed Swaran to remain out on bail until Monday. Of more on this, Adam Hancock joins us now uh, from Singapore. So, uh, Adam, as you we were saying, it's extremely rare for a former Singaporean government minister to be jailed. What's the background to this case? Yes, extremely rare indeed. And the case centers around over 300,000 US dollars worth of lavish gifts that Mr. Isroam received whilst he was in office. Now, these gifts were received from two local businessmen. They included uh, flights, hotel stays, a ticket to Premier League matches in the UK, also tickets to West End shows in London, and even tickets to the Singapore Grand Prix. Now, Mr. Isram was originally facing some 35 charges, including corruption, and he had vowed to defend himself during his trial. But there was a big twist uh, last week here at the Supreme Court on what was meant to be the first day of his trial when he pleaded guilty to lesser charges of obtaining gifts whilst in office and obstructing justice. Now, today, he was back at court for his sentencing, and the sentence that was handed down to him of 12 months came as somewhat of a surprise, largely because the prosecution were actually only asking for around six to seven months. But the judge decided to overrule that. He said it was a serious case and it could undermine people's trust in government, and therefore he handed down a 12-month jail sentence. Now, Mr. Israwan is back out on bail, but he's due to return to court on Monday, and in pending any appeal, he'll be heading to prison. And Adam, what's the reaction to this in Singapore? There's been plenty of shock and surprise about this. It's been one of the leading news stories for a long time now, and that's largely because of how rare an incident like this is. Singapore prides itself on having clean governance. The ministers here are amongst some of the highest paid ministers in the world. And the reason for that is to deter corruption, with the idea being that if they're paid very well, they won't give into temptation to gifts or other financial contributions that may sway influence. So there's been plenty of shock that this has happened, especially involving such a senior minister as Mr. Israwan was. But it also comes at a very politically sensitive time here as well. A general election has to be called by next November, and it's the first general election for the new prime minister, Lawrence Wong. It's going to be a big test for him taking over uh, long-time leader Lee Sing Long. So the government won't want to see headlines about cases like this in the media. They'll probably be very glad that this case hasn't dragged on and now attention can turn to the election rather than having this case hanging over them. Adam Hancock, live for us there in Singapore. Thank you.